everyone. Happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So we are actually going to head out to Matthew's volleyball game. I told you guys yesterday I wasn't sure that we were actually going to be going, but we are. So we are headed there, um, which we are a little bit late. Like we might miss the first game quite possibly because my dad has to go pick his car up or something like that. So um, when he gets here, we are going to leave, which should be in the next few minutes. And um, we're going just to our high school because the game's at home today. So, um, yeah, Matthew is playing a different position than he normally plays because I told you guys in yesterday's vlog, a bunch of the kids were on a field trip today, so it was like random. They were putting kids in different positions and stuff like that. And since Matthew played this position last year, they put him there um, because they don't really have anybody else that could possibly play that position really. Um, and they do ha kind of have somebody that could kind of fill in for him in his position, which works a little bit better, I guess. So, um, yeah, it should be a little bit interesting. You know, it's like a hodgepodge of kids that are playing, you know, in all different places today. So it should be pretty entertaining, but I will definitely record the volleyball game for you guys, um, when we end up going. since we got back from Matthew's volleyball game but we're watching the NFL draft right now and I at least want to watch Carolina which they've got about six more till they get there they're at 24 right now the Bears picked early ish kind of um, I think they were like sixth or something what were they doing 11th I don't remember 11th okay so um they picked semi kind of early so there's been kind of a lull until anybody else i really care about is picking um but yeah the panthers like i said they'll pick i think they're pick 30 um which it is held in chicago this year i don't know if i told you guys that but um yeah i was having problems with my phone all day today and not being able to send out text messages and finally it just started working again like for some random reason i don't know why but anyways we got back from Matthew's volleyball game and they won um the like i told you guys too it was a hodgepodge of kids playing all different positions if you guys saw matthew was setting and their libero was i don't even know who but then they had like a bunch that i think they moved one kid is a freshman that plays on the jv team and they moved up another freshman to play too. So it was like a hodgepodge of kids playing all over the place, positions they didn't play. But they won and they only took 
them, or they only want two games, um, or two sets in the game. So, they won, the varsity got kind of annihilated, like the first game was like 13, I think, to 25, and the second game was, I think, 27 to 25, and the other team had to win by two anyway, so, um, it was like really close, but yeah, it, they, the other team, their varsity had like huge kids, this one kid looks older than me he had like a full-on beard well actually two of them they have full-on beards like they just looked like they could have been like 25 years old like older than me i the first time i saw the one kid i thought he was actually the coach i was like oh why does the coach have a jersey on? and i saw him practicing with the other kids and i was like why is the coach practicing with the kids like for warm-ups i was like that's funny and then i see the actual coach walk by and i was like is that the real coach? And I realized the kid that I thought was the coach was actually a kid. I was like, oh my gosh. So he's like younger than me. I was like, how is that possible? He was like huge, like super, super tall and everything too. I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah, so it was very interesting. But I was like, compared to our varsity team, they're not very tall. So it was like kind of funny. But we did stay for the varsity because we only were able to watch like a little bit of the end of Matthew's second game. Um, oh, not a little bit I guess we watched like most of the second game but I did get some film some footage from it you guys saw but I didn't um, we didn't get there on time really we missed the whole first game and then it's had bit of the second so um, we did say for the varsity though just because we paid to watch the JV team and hardly got to so we were like well we'll just stick around plus there were some other people we knew that were sticking around and a few of the kids that um, we knew from like the JV and even freshmen too were playing up at varsity so um, we watched that, but yeah, so now we're back home, like I said, um, we had pulled pork sandwiches for dinner, which is super easy, and I made a side salad for tonight, and now we're watching the draft, and I almost, I think I'm gonna hit him in the face, which I'm not, this doesn't mean I'm going to hit you in the face, this means I was looking that way at the TV. <laughs> well, it is now nearly about 11 o'clock, which I didn't realize, there's only one other pick after the Panthers anyway, so I just stayed up for that. Um, but yeah, there was, I don't know guys, the draft isn't like super exciting I guess because I don't know anybody who like, really, I don't follow a whole, a whole lot of college football, so like a lot of the people I didn't even know really I guess, but it was just interesting I guess to hear like some of the chit chat and stuff like that, um, about the other teams and you know, and about the whole of the players and stuff like that so it was kind of fascinating I guess but you know I was just kind of like browsing on my phone I was like oh who would so-and-so pick oh okay <laughs> you know and then just looking back at my phone um so you know I wasn't totally into it but tomorrow is Friday I am going walking with my friend at 10 o'clock tomorrow because she said she has a doctor's appointment in the morning so she oh, we're gonna go late walking a little bit later so I don't have to be up at the crack of dawn but I still gotta be up kind of early I was able to get all of my laundry pretty much done today also too except for I have a load I have to still throw in the dryer and then um, I'm good with my laundry plus two I was actually able to get my desk semi cleaned off if you guys can't tell there was a whole ton of papers like there's a whole stack of stuff here and a bigger stack of stuff here and I got that all cleaned off and plus there's other stuff in the middle so I was able to get that taken care of but there's still a few I mean there's still some stuff on there but it's not nearly as bad as it was as long as the papers are taken care of normally I don't have too much cluttery stuff um on there but yeah, anyway, so I'm happy too. I got my big pile of laundry because I had um, a comforter and a blanket that was on my bed from earlier that I had to wash. And so it was taking up a ton of space on my floor. Now that that's gone, I can, um, uh, you know, kind of almost walk because it was almost like in my doorway so I could hardly even get through my room so now that that is clean I can walk in my room but yeah um I am going to end the vlogging real quick hop in the shower because it's about just about 11 o'clock so um <laughs> yeah but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow so bye guys week and then I was like well I'll just make one extra without it so it's kind of like a pie two semi but it doesn't have the crunch in there so that is what's for dinner tonight and um yeah so i'm gonna dig and tell you guys what i think <laughs> so guys that macaroni and cheese tasted like the corner bakery macaroni and cheese it tasted so insanely good and the reason that i think it was was because there was an egg in it 
and like you mix it into the cheese sauce and everything. Is that how you make the?